The zero maintenance e-bike. Well, almost. Today you could drive a new car 20,000 kilometers without ever having to take it to the garage for maintenance. But you'd be hard pressed to find an electric bike that could equal that level of reliability. I've been eight months in the process of putting together a video series meant to help a new buyer to choose an electric bike. In doing so, I had to take a close look at all the components and all the different ramifications of motors, drive trains, frames, pedal assist systems, electrical components, etc. And this morning, I got a revelation, no, rather a revelation, a brainstorm. Let me explain. If someone is looking for the most reliable e-bike, the one that would have the least maintenance requirements, they could begin by looking at the components that are the most trouble-free. When I began looking at internally geared hubs, I realized that they are the key to ridding the bike of the derailleur, the most troublesome part of the drivetrain. Notwithstanding that they're far easier to use than a derailleur and shifter because they allow the rider to change gears whether or not the pedals are turning and even when the bike is stopped. Looking a little further, I discovered the virtues of the carbon belt drive with regards to its impact on maintenance. Contrary to a chain, the carbon belt needs no oiling and is very good at repelling dirt. It doesn't stretch, never needs adjustment, and can last 30,000 kilometers or more. I looked at e-bikes that come with these two components, only to find out that all the ones on the market that I could find are equipped with a mid-drive motor. Now, mid-drive motors are geared, and since they turn fast, they're noisy. And since the gears are made of plastic, they wear out, and they can even melt if the motor overheats. So the solution would be to build an e-bike with an internally geared hub and belt drive, but with a direct drive motor in the front wheel. Unlike a geared motor, the direct drive motor is far more trouble-free on account of its simplicity. It doesn't have gears. In this way, we'd have what we're looking for, the most durable and trouble-free motor, with the added bonuses of regenerative braking, which would put some of the kinetic energy back into the battery, and would save on brake pads, plus the benefit of enjoying the most silent motor technology on the market. Now this sounds like nirvana for the maintenance adverse cyclist. Trouble is, so far, I haven't found any e-bikes with that configuration on the market. Do you know of any manufacturer that makes one? If so, please let me know in the comments section. If it's not possible to buy a ready-made one, a person could buy a non-electric bike with an internally geared hub and carbon belt and install a kit containing a direct drive motor in the front wheel. Do you think this would make a good do-it-yourself project? Let me know in the comments. To help others find this video amongst the billions of videos on YouTube, you could influence the algorithms by giving this video a like. Well, that is, if you did like it, write a comment, share with everybody you know, and if you haven't already done so, to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and remember, never quit cycling.